It's a staple of every crime TV show on TV. Our detective visits a jumpy witness who squints warily through a crack in the door. How do I know you're the detective? The detective flashes a badge and the witness grudgingly opens the door. This is authentication. Before I even decide to let you in, I need to know who you are. More than that, I need some proof that confirms your identity. Authentication, then, is all about establishing identity. In the context of a Kafka-based system, there are many different interactions that begin with participants verifying the identity of the components with which they're communicating. When a connection is established between a client, whether a user, application, or service, and a broker, the broker may seek to identify the client, opening the connection, while the client, in turn, may want to confirm the identity of the broker with which it is connecting. Likewise, when brokers connect to one another to replicate data, they can be configured to confirm each other's identities. And finally, if you're using Zookeeper in your setup, you may want to secure the broker-Zookeeper interactions by requiring brokers to authenticate to Zookeeper before accessing any sensitive cluster metadata. Internally, Kafka represents a client's identity using an object called a Kafka principle. If you connect to Kafka and authenticate using a username and password, for example, the Kafka principle associated with the connection will represent your username. It tells Kafka you are who you say you are. Later in the authorization module, we'll see how Kafka uses this identity, the principle, to determine what you're allowed to do. And in the auditing module, we'll see how principles are used to log details of the user or application performing an operation that has been secured using Kafka's access control mechanisms. Kafka uses principles to associate users with requests, even if authentication has not been configured for a connection. When authentication has not been enabled, the principle associated with the connection is anonymous. In production environments, avoid granting access to anonymous users unless the intention is to give everyone permission to access the broker. Generally, this isn't a good idea. There are two types of interaction that you can authenticate with Kafka. Clients, whether users, applications, or services communicating with Kafka brokers, and brokers communicating with other brokers. You can configure authentication for these two types of interaction independently of one another, but the authentication mechanisms you can use are the same for both. So how do you actually configure authentication in a Kafka-based system? There are two things you need to know about here, listeners and security protocols. When you configure a broker, you specify one or more listeners, which determine host names or IP addresses and ports clients can use to reach the broker. Each listener also specifies a security protocol that will be used to authenticate connection requests. Kafka supports four different connection protocols, plain text, SASL plain text, SSL, and SASL SSL. Only SSL and SASL SSL are secure. Since this course is about securing Kafka, we'll only be taking a look at SSL and SASL SSL. A broker can be configured with more than one listener. That is, there may be several address, port, and security protocol combinations that can be used to reach the broker. The snippet of broker configuration shown here configures three listeners for a broker. A listener for connections from an external network, a listener for connections from an internal network, and a listener for inter-broker communications. The inter-broker and internal listeners are configured to use SSL. The external listener, SASL SSL. This snippet of client configuration specifies that the SASL SSL security protocol should be used to communicate with the listed bootstrap servers. Now that we have a good understanding of the basics of authentication, in the next video, we'll take a look at Kafka's two security protocols, SSL and SASL SSL, in depth. <laughs>